Hello, my name is Irina and in this video we will be unboxing a beauty advent calendar. I'm so excited. It's certainly approaching that time of the year when the daylight is getting shorter and shorter, when, you know, beauty advent calendars become a thing. I will be unboxing the Seattle London Mini Money Month advent calendar and I haven't even seen how this looks like so we're going to open the box together. much more tiny than I would have imagined. If you are a beauty advent calendar lover, you may notice that this is not the 2021 beauty advent calendar and I certainly don't want to spread misinformation and just pretend this is the new advent calendar. So Seattle London had a huge sale a couple of weeks ago and this calendar from 2020 was on sale from £60 to just £19 so I definitely had to purchase it. I do have a lot of reviews about beauty advent calendars from 2021 on my blog Lipstick Cafe. I separate all the contents of the calendars by categories, how much makeup is there, how much skincare, hair, bath and body products. I talk about the ingredients, I'm letting you know if they're vegan, if they're cruelty free, I'm letting you know if they contain allergens or what the ingredients and each skincare product is doing, what the demographic for each calendar is, what sort of age group is most suitable for it, in terms that some calendars have more products aimed towards drier skin or more products towards acne prone skin. Some calendars only have anti-aging products, so I'm really going into a lot of detail, the actual sizes of the products, their actual value per deluxe size. So if you want to read reviews of the Feel Unique Beauty Advent Calendar, Look Fantastic Advent Calendars, all 2021, the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar, as well as many, many other calendars, then please head to my blog. This video, it's just going to be for the pure fun of unboxing a Beauty Advent Calendar. I've never filmed something like this before, so I'm really excited to show you a variety of nail polishes, colors. I will open it. Ta-da! This is so pretty. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's very aesthetically pleasing. It's not necessarily Christmassy because it's very pink, peachy. I think I prefer the design for the 2020 Beauty Advent Calendar, which is this one, compared to their current 2021 one. I feel like this is a lot more elegant and mm, high-end and it just gives a bit more of a luxury feel. We are going to go into box number one. And it says, good things ahead. <laughs> So this is what we get in the first day. It's this very, very beautiful see-through, almost like top coat. It's very iridescent, so it has a bit of green and light, a bit of purple. It's very sparkly, it has a very beautiful effect and this will definitely look very beautiful in the winter. It would have looked really nice with this top. Day number two is just here. It says kind people are my kind of people, which is very cute. So we get another plant pot and this is in the shade Amazing Gracie. And it's a very beautiful, opaque, very light shade. This is going to look extremely classy. It's going to go well with a lot of outfits and I feel like it's a very classic, elegant and sophisticated colour. I feel like most people would enjoy this. I really like this one. Right, so day number three. Oh, there it is. So this one says, be the reason someone smiles today, which is so adorable. I absolutely love that they introduced the quotes on the insides of the doors. This is a clear base coat. This is always handy to have in your collection. I will definitely try to apply a base coat first and see if that helps to prolong my nail polishes. So this is absolutely handy and really useful to come in the calendar. The number four, it says, finally. Oh, finally. I'll need to check, would this door be open on a Friday? Because that would be pretty cute, that would be pretty nice. I'd love to wake up on a Friday and have a beauty advent calendar telling me it's finally. 
pretty accurate. <laughs> if this would be indeed for a Friday, this is a very appropriate color for the weekend. And this is the Plant Pot Violet Haze. And it's a very beautiful, I wouldn't call this a purple, but I wouldn't call it quite a blue nail polish either. It's just a very, very beautiful, beautiful color. Because it's slightly warm tone, this would be easier to wear rather than very cool tone, dark, vibrant nail polish colors. It would be very pretty, definitely, and very weekend appropriate. Day number five, where are you? So day number five, it says wake up and be awesome. That is cute. Wow, this color is so so beautiful. It's called Lucky 7 and it's this beautiful, beautiful neon warm toned kind of like peachy pink. The tone of this is just so unique. I already see day number six and it says don't quit your daydream which is so nice. This is a top coat. All right, that is absolutely great that you get a base coat and a top coat. Hopefully if they all come from the same brand and you get like a complete set that you need to do your manicure from A to Z, hopefully it's going to really improve the longevity of the product. I am really excited to try all these products out and find out. The number seven, it's here. And it says just another magic Monday. So yes, this is in correlation to how the days of the week would have been last year. So, so thoughtful. Wow. Now this is what I call a really absolutely insanely rebellious nail polish. It's this beautiful shimmery purple with iridescent green in it. This is just so interesting. I hope the camera picks it up. I'm not entirely sure this would be a very Monday appropriate color, <laughs> but I guess you wouldn't take your nail polish off and paint them again every single day when you open this calendar, so it does make sense. Okay, so we had some technical difficulties with my camera and I'm using my phone now. And day number eight says, time to make your soul happy. I love this. Wow, it's this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful warm toned peach and it's called Peachy Cheeks. This is going to be so wearable and nice for daytime, for work, for school, whatever you need it. Definitely very flattering and beautiful. It's kind of necessary in anyone's nail polish collection, in my opinion. It's going to go with so many outfits. It's like a staple. And now we go to day number nine. It says, let's rock this day. Love it. Wow, absolutely rock this day. If you're wearing a beautiful black nail polish, this is called Unrestricted Glam. Wow, I used to be the biggest fan of black nail polishes, so this is definitely going to take me back to, to that love. I feel like it's the perfect way to balance a girly outfit. If you would like to wear it, it's something that's going to be pretty nice to have in your collection. I cannot wait to wear this again. This looks like it's going to be really high shine finish. So it's going to be very glam. I like how they match the quotes for the day with the nail polish shades. Really pretty. Day number 10. It says, always bring your own sunshine. So true. It's with this beautiful, cool tone pastel purple in the shade Day Tripper. It's just beautiful. Now, in my opinion, I have really yellow undertones, so I find cool toned light nail polishes the hardest to wear. It's just kind of hard to not let them make me look quite unhealthy, but it's a beautiful color to have nevertheless in the collection. I'm sure it's going to match some outfits and looks. So now we're doing day 11. 
This says better days are coming. They are called Saturday and Sunday. This is called Dream Catcher. It's a, you know, really classic type of nail polish with a warm pink shimmer, elegant and beautiful. And it has a very beautiful undertone to it. It's warm tone, but not really. It's kind of silver as well. So that is very beautiful. The number 12 is this beautiful polka dot door. And this one says positivity is a superpower. Whoa. Now, this nail polish is absolutely something. Wow. It's in the shade Dark Matter and it's this very beautiful iridescent shimmery black or purple with green and yellow and blue. It's just so beautiful. This is such a unique nail polish. I don't think I've ever had anything similar to this before. So really, really pretty very very glamorous love it i cannot wait to try this one really pretty so now we are halfway through this calendar and the next day is number 13 which is here and it says be a rainbow in someone else's cloud that is so beautiful wow i love this color it's the shade bubblegum bellini and it's this beautiful bubblegum pink absolutely gorgeous 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 this is one of my favorite nail polishes colors to wear really fun they kind of you know they're they're daytime suitable they're very playful they're kind of i don't know brightening my day up when wearing it which i guess it's kind of appropriate to the quote you know be someone's rainbow someone's clouds it's just so cute how much attention they put into matching the quotes to the days of the week and the actual um, nail polish color. So really pretty, beautiful color. I feel like most people would like to wear this, but it's kind of a playful color. So I feel like, you know, it takes a tiny bit of courage to wear it. Day number 14 is here. Wow. And it says, hello, sunshine. Yeah, that would be an appropriate reaction to this color. And it's called Smooth Sailing. This is another beautiful blue. It's different from the other one. This one is a bit more violetish. And the one we got in, you know, day 14, it's more blue. So the other one is a bit violet. The other one is just pure blue. I would say this is a neutral blue. It would go well with warm tones as well as cool tones. Day number 15, it's here. Wow. And it says born to shine. Absolutely. With this color, I agree. This is in the shade Twinkle Toes. Wow, this looks like a glittery top coat and it has pink and baby blue glitter in it, a bit of purple, a bit of silver. This is so beautiful and for some reason this reminds me of snow of winter i'm just speechless this is so beautiful this is day number 16 and it says smile big laugh often wow this is another absolutely gorgeously beautiful shade and it's in beach melba so beautiful so so beautiful this is warm tone and you know, I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera, but it suits the undertones of my skin so, so beautifully. This is going to be such a pretty shade on my nails. Really beautiful. Again, another elegant nude shade. I guess it could kind of remind you of day number two, which was amazing Gracie, but this is almost a very very light pink whereas in day 16 this is a pretty warm peach color so it's definitely darker it has mo more color to it and it's different really beautiful day number 17 wow do the universe a favor don't hide your magic <laughs> this is shade spinning teacup wow this is a very beautiful violet peachy pastel color a Again, really, really pretty. One of those ones that I'd personally struggle with 
wearing it, but I'm definitely going to try it. I'm going to try all of them. They're so, so pretty. Day number 18 is here. We are slowly getting very close to Christmas. Exciting, exciting time. So this says, think it, want it, set it. I like that. And this is in the shade Gold Digger. <laughs> wow, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous beautiful shade it almost looks like a nude for my skin coloring and it's this shimmery opaque nail polish i feel like it's one of those that it's very daytime appropriate but it has a bit of a luxury twist to it it kind of adds a bit more glamour a bit more elegance to it really beautiful really really beautiful shade for some reason i'm getting really nervous as we approach the christmas eve box um i don't know why so we are number 19 so this one says happiness is on invisible job i think this is another gorgeous oh my god blooming absolutely beautiful beautiful shade it's midnight in paris oh this looks like a starry night this is so beautiful i think this could be the favorite of the entire nail polish collection we've got so far so beautiful oh that really melted my soul what a beautiful beautiful shade have night skies on your nails okay day 20 it says if you're going to rise you might as well shine wow this is another one that reminds me of snow very beautiful iridescent silver that goes into green pale baby blue yellows this one is called desert light it has little silver shimmer such a beautiful winter appropriate shade very unique shade i'm not sure i've seen these they're not shades that you'd usually find very very easily in shops 21 this looks a bit different in shade than the other ones <gasps> Say yes to new adventures and I think I know what this is because I'm one of those very boring people that always read all items and descriptions of calendars so I kind of know what's coming. I know, boo. Oh, this is a really tough one to get out. Ooh, this is the Seattle London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. Yes, yes, please. My lips are crying for help in winter. I am very excited for this lip oil and I like that it's small and really lightweight because I'm probably going to carry it around with me in my bag so I can use it all day long. Really pretty. So excited. Mm. This really does smell of watermelon, which is great because I absolutely love watermelon, but it makes me feel very sick. So this is going to be a nice in-between for me to enjoy some watermelon with this very season-appropriate lip oil. I love that. I love that they added that in the calendar, for sure. Day number 21. Oops. <laughs> 22, it's here. Wow, 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 beautiful burgundy. This one says, don't shine on my mind. Wow, and it's this beautiful blood-like red. Very pretty. It's called Dangerous Affair. Really winter appropriate color. I feel like if there's a time to wear this very dark burgundy red, it's Christmas or late autumn anyway. Day number 23, it says look for the magic in every day. This is so interesting. It's a shade called oil slick. How appropriate. I'm not sure I'd wear something like this, but it's definitely beautiful. It has a dark blue contour with a green yellowish shimmer. It's so beautiful that so many of these nail polishes have this beautiful iridescent shine duality to them. You know, they have such shifting colors. We only have have one day left and um i'm nervous i feel like it's christmas eve i'm just about to open the biggest door so far in this calendar so let's see what's in there wow this is a big one <gasps> 
it says start each day like it's your birthday i love that oh my this is such a winter appropriate beautiful shimmer top coat gorgeous gorgeous i love glitter and i'm probably going to add this on top of most of those other nail polishes how huge does this look compared to the other mini mani <laughs> nail polishes almost feels like this is the right size and this is just huge monster <laughs> such an interesting concept though to add for the christmas eve a top coat to have fun with play around with and change the other nail polishes such a beautiful beautiful addition there you have it this was me unboxing my first beauty advent calendar on my channel Ever. please encourage me by subscribing give thumbs up leave a comment down below telling me which one of these days and nail polishes were your favorite i would love to see how each person has a different preference with nail polish as i mentioned i do have reviews of beauty advent calendars from 2021 i think i looked in the wrong spot all video as I mentioned, I do have a lot of photo reviews of beauty advent calendars from 2021, so don't forget to go to lipstick.scafe to read them all. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!